Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss the Corriverse chance increase for the Prophet of the Sun Talia recruit, My First Impressions. But before that, if you want to see more EXO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Finally, guys, here we are. Um, been tweaking my software for the past few hours. So now I'm ready to start. So we're here again for the Corriverse Chance Increase of the Prophet of the Sun, Talia. So it's good that she dropped before the end of the year. So it's like we're going to get a final gift from Exos Heroes before the year ends. Probably end the year on a good note because it has been pretty much very, you know, very stagnant of late. Um, haven't been enjoying the content, but I'm excited for this one. So I'll give you my first impressions now of how Talia is going to shape up our game and our meta, of course. So we'll start with, so after the maintenance tomorrow, so up to January 7th, um, 2021. Okay, so your main hero is Talia with a higher probability than in your premium recruit. So she will get her own banner and my first impressions of her of her character design is actually if you guys know what carnival is it's actually in brazil it's kind of their festival so her costume actually resembles that and um also kind of resembles um one of the asian costumes that we have here in southeast asia so it's good. The design is good. I really love um, the way she looks. So let's move on to her fate core. So I'm very glad that uh, Talia has been, you know, has been given her own fate core. I think she deserves it, especially the gold fate core, because um, when I started the game, I actually um, used Talia when I was starting for the first few months until I found a better healer than her. So I haven't used her um, since then, but her Fate Core gives you a lot of um, additional attacks, uh, attack stat, defense, health, and combat power as well. So let's go through her passive. So she actually has a first aid still. So these are her basic um, heals and Dragonite Blessing, Head Dragon Knight, and for the for the blooming someday uh we have dimension leap again so mark increases dodge for self by 40 and attack by 1000 when attacked so all dimension leap mark on self are removed after a successful dodge stacks up to four times this is actually good for her kit uh dimension leap because it gives her additional survivability um as well and um she is more she can take hits because she's a healer um so that is uh, great for her the new passives that she has number one I'll, I'll count this now so guardian of prophecy is overtime effect so as long as she's in she's alive and she's not dead yet she's she's with her team um all allies get 20 for uh 20 percent defense so okay one click that she uh, she gives defense uh next passive would be overturned fate so two times around when an ally is damaged and their health falls below 30 heals the health of an ally with the most missing health by 60 of the target's maximum health okay so this is what so we have one point defense one point again for healing actually two points because she has first aid so she has three uh two for healing one for defense so this one actually is one one of one of the best healing skills that i've ever seen um falls below 30 again um if you want to supplement your team with battery you can but this actually is very very good because it heals 60 percent of the target's health that's a big heal man so and uh yeah i will have to we'll have to test this out in in in, in play on uh, what what is the order that you know that this triggers does it trigger before before the hero dies or that hero has to you know has to have enough health for it to trigger 
uh, not just going towards zero. So we'll have to test this out and let's move on. So we have rewind. So when the health of an ally mark where reversion falls below 50%, heals the target by 30% of the target's ma maximum health and removes all reversion marks. So again, reversion is a mark and I'm sure it's here somewhere. Let's try to look for it. Okay, so it's here. Um, it's in her S2. So if the heal target's health is 50% or more, grants reversion mark. So let's go back to reversion mark. When, it, when, when the health of an eye reversion falls below 50, so they get healed again. So this is actually heal number three. So this is only for your passive. So uh, reversion marks are actually given to allies. Uh, when S2 is triggered. Okay, so we'll go back first. This is a bit confusing, so please bear with me. Um, let's go back first to her S1. So S1 is absolute prophecy. So deals 150 damage to one enemy, afflicts all en enemies except the target of prophecy decline mark. If the target mark with prophe prophecy decline attacks you, reduces damage received by 50%. So what this means is if you attack, for example, a blocker um, in the opposite side or, or the enemy team, um, the other the other members on that team will get the prophecy of decline mark. If they have that mark, um, they will have they will they will uh, reduce their damage reduces damage by 50% reduces damage that your team takes so take note we've, we've recently had um, a couple of uh, a couple of uh, unleash potential which gives a decrease of 30% and this one you add this one of a 50% so what does that give you um, only 20% so this makes your team even tankier with those heroes that give you um, a damage reduction of 30%. Um, an example of them is, um, I think uh, I, I've been using her. So Shell has that, a, a damage reduction of 50%. Then you pray her and Shell. So good luck to the enemies um, if they're going to, you know, if they're, if they're still going to give you damage or if, they're, if the enemy can still kill you. So to move on from Absolute Prophecy, so heals an ally by 29% of maximum health when the attack hits so it's this, it's kind of the same with her previous skill in your in your in your original form so attack uh, hit then heals so and also it has cleanses all debuffs and damage over time effects from the heal target so s1 for s1 for a one mana skill um this is very good because again it gives you both defense and healing at the same time so two points for defense four points for healing so I'm, I'm counting because because she actually creates or makes your team very tanky so let's move on to her s2 this is a nature's judgment so required mana four but it's a burst skill so deals 127 damage to all enemies again it's a burst skill Heals all allies by 24% of own maximum health when attack hits. So obviously you have to make sure that she gets uh, more HP for this one. So again, another point for healing. So that's five points of healing and two points for defense. Cleanses all debuffs and damage over time effects from healed targets. If the healed target health is 50 cent, if the healed target's health is 50 cent, 50% or more grants reversion mark. So I'm I'm actually too too confused or too overwhelmed with all the heals. So the final count is basically five healing abilities and two defensive abilities. So what what else more can I say? She's a healing juggernaut. She's the healer supreme as what I call her. So, but this will actually be, you know, boiled down to, to test play. But 
I think she is she will be one of the best healers um, on top of on top of Dorka that is so she will be a great defender she will be also be a great healer next is her weapon so prophet of the sun tala is uh, sorry prophet of the sun uh tala is a gold rated fate core so her, so her chance increase fate core chance increase is 0.5 percent again for regular for a gold fate core so you can earn uh 28 recruit 28 core managers are required to guarantee the obtained profit of the Santalia, so you can pit her after 28 pulls. So this is the only time that you could get a chance increase for her when you summon her. So as for her exclusive weapon, chance increase, arm of the ancient spirit. Again, I will I wouldn't recommend you guys to spend um um for her um exclusive weapon. Um, this is actually just another way for you to spend uh, more zest um, not really you know uh, doing it effectively so I would you know discourage you to to summon for exclusive weapon so it's the same rate at 0.5% okay so as for my final thoughts in terms of in terms of uh, Talia um, great healer and actually um, increases your team survivability and increases damage reduction defense damage reduction and healing what more could you ask for very very good kit very well created um, this will really benefit tanks or tanky teams like for example you have Garf you have um, you have uh, Rudley FC Rudley with him so FC Garf FC Rudley Talia, probably you throw in a Janai and you throw in a Shell. So that's it. Probably good lineup, but um, if you could squeeze in Dorka there, better. <laughs> the other team will have a headache dealing with your team. So anyway, guys, um, that's it for me. Please put down in the comments below what you think of FC Talia. Um, I've been waiting for her Fate Core for quite a long time. And um, y'all stay safe. Have a happy new year. Looking forward to a great new year. And don't forget to support and subscribe to my channel. Y'all stay safe. This is The Warden. 